And today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my Twixers, uh, how I Twixer my clips. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. Um, if you don't know what Twixering is, uh, basically you're just kind of like changing the speed of a clip. It makes it look really, really smooth and clean. Um, so basically this is just a random clip of show though. This is the raw clip pulled from the show. Nothing's been done to it. No CC, no color corrections, no Twixering. Um, as you can see, it's you know when you're watching the show it is what it is but you can turn something kind of slow and um it kind of choppy looking into something like this so as you can see this clip is very this has been twixered already and um it looks really really smooth it goes you know from fast to slow and then to fast again at the end and it looks really really smooth and clean um so yeah i'll show you guys how to do that right now all right so basically what you want to do is you start off by pressing Control alt t in your keyboard and you're just gonna pull up the time remap thing and you're gonna uh, put a keyframe down for every single uh, time that your character moves so every time that your you know character moves like this you want to put a keyframe so every time that your character moves not when the camera moves not when another object in the scene moves like the flames but when the character moves or anything on his body or whatever moves Basically, anything you want to Twixer, um, you want to put a keyframe down. Now, keep in mind that Twixering uh, relies on movements, so you want to make sure that your movements are kind of similar to each other. So, when you're choosing your clips to Twixer, keep in mind that there are some clips that you just can't Twixer. Alright, so once you have dragged all your keyframes together, you should get something that kind of looks like this. All your keyframes, and you can just cut the clip there. You don't have to worry about that. So, then you have this one clip that has movement in every single frame. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pre-compose this clip. You can, if this check mark isn't, if this box isn't checked, you can go ahead and check it. And then you can pre-compose it. And then um, you can just render the clip in After Effects right here. So just add it to the render queue, put on your settings, whatever, choose where you want, blah, blah, blah. And then you can just render it right here. All right, so then once you have this clip rendered, um, you can go ahead and then open up Flow Frames. Um, this is a... Uh, program or yeah it's a program it speeds up the FPS of a clip um, it's pretty heavy on your computer so try not to import any clip that's above like 30 FPS um, so yeah so basically these are the settings that I put on you just put you'll come to this welcome page and then you just go straight to interpolation and you can put on times 8 and then for this one, you can do recommended, but everybody just does old 2D animation models, so I just do that one. And then you can just uh, pull in the clip that you just rendered in After Effects, and then go ahead and hit uh, interpolate, and then it'll interpolate. If you're doing 23 point, you know, what it's like 24, then it'll be 191.810. So those are like the only two values you should ever really get in this. So then once that's done, you can go ahead and just drag that clip into After Effects. I already did it, so I'm just going to drag that clip in. And then basically it's the same thing as this one, but instead of it being um, 30 FPS, it's now 240. And it just makes Twixer smoother. That's all it really does. You don't have to do that part, but it does help for the most part. So once you're dragging this clip, you can just go ahead and pre-compose it apply your Twixer. I just use basic settings. Make sure that your input frame rate is the same as the frame rate of the new uh, flow frame clip. So if it's 240, put 240. If it's 191, put 191. I just use basic settings, contrast, uh, edge enhance, inverse, I put the forward and then I put this to 100. And then you can pre-compose it. And now you want to press Control alt t on your keyboard once again to bring up the time remap section. You want to select these frames, F9 them, and then you just kind of drag drag your the end to wherever, like, let's say I like a marker here for like my beat or something. You just put it there. Um, and then these, this is the graph that I have been using. Um, you can play around with these, with these uh, lines. It doesn't matter too much, kind of just... It depends for any clip, however you want it to look. And so, yeah, once you time remap it like that, uh, you should get something that kind of looks like this. So, yeah, as you can see, now the clip is a lot smoother than it once was. Um, it goes from fast to slow to then fast again. 
Um, so yeah, once you've played with the graph, uh, you should get a clip that looks like this. Uh, it looks pretty, pretty smooth. I haven't applied any color correction yet or anything like that. Um, but yeah, this is just the basic Twixer that I do. And yeah, if you have enjoyed, please leave a like. Yeah, talk to you guys later.